Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Bucklow. Just going to take you for a quick run through of your caravan. So up here, you've got the main power switch. So power on, as you can see. All the lighting has now come on on board the caravan. You've got your water pump run. You've got your awning light, or roof light, sorry. And then your awning light on the next switch down. Next control panel across. So sorry, let's go back to the water pump first, sorry. So to fill the water system, we're just going to turn on, uh, open all the taps up on the hot side, connect your rack roll on the outside of the caravan, and turn the water pump on. What that will do is, is pump water up to the taps and through the hot water tank. Once you've got water running freely out of all the taps, you can then turn the taps off and leave the water pump on. Next panel across is turned on, as you can see, you've got your heating pump is running, you connect it to mains power and the internal temperature at the moment is five degrees. We'll go to menu, select the temperature of the caravan on the top row, turn your water on to 35 to 40 degrees of temperature or boost on this button here. The next one down is the amount of power you can run into the caravan. So one kilowatt is the max we can run here on site. And then the bottom one here is to ignite the heating and hot water on gas. Go into the bathroom next. Shower works like a conventional shower. And when you do bleed the water system, you do need to make sure you do the shower as well. On the top of the toilet, you've got an indicator to say the cassette has been removed from underneath the caravan. The little light here that's on is to let us know that we need to put more water in for the flush system. This light here is to let you know that the tank is half full. And this tank here is to let you know the tank underneath the caravan is full. To operate the toilet, You've got press button flush on top, and then you've got the waste flap that pulls out just below. Coming down to the hot water tank at the front of the caravan, the little yellow valve down there is the drain down valve to drain the water off from the caravan. In the position it's in at the moment, the caravan is completely drained of water. If you want to fill the tank, you need to flick that switch down into the lower position. Hot water tank is just there. You've then got your sergeant uh, alarm system, your motor mover control box, your power switch for your motor mover, and then your mains control unit for the uh, power inside the caravan, that is 12 volt and 240. Then down below here, you've actually got your gas taps for your heating, hot water, uh, heating, hot water, cooker, and your fridge. Coming along to the other side of the caravan, you've got your fridge, turn the fridge on, use the power button, at the moment it's trying to ignite on gas, when it fails to ignite on gas because the gas bottle's turned off at the moment, the light here will flash and the end light on the end will flash, if it ignites the pilot light here will stay blue, if you connect it to mains, you can press the mains button and control the temperature on this button here. And then you've got 12 volt when you're towing the caravan so it works as a cool box. you also got automatic on the end there, so what it will do is if you press automatic it will actually go to mains power as the automatic power source. Again if you're on gas you can actually select the temperature on here as well. Inside the fridge, you've actually got a little tab here that you can press in. Sometimes a little bit hard with one hand, so you'll have to believe me on that one for a moment till uh, you see me during the hand. There we go, when it's come out. And what that'll do is allow you to keep the fridge door open while the caravan isn't being used, stop the fridge from going smelly. Around the caravan, you've got your USB points, 12 volt connection here for like a cigarette lighter, satellite connection, and TV connection. The microwave up here is an eco microwave, so if the screen is turned off, you just need to hit the power button, which is the eco button, and that will turn the microwave back on. I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any other questions, please do give us a call at the, here at the Caravan Company on 01933 682 888. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.